Welcome to Rauta Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Welcome to Rauta Beyond's reaction videos. This time we have the fifth James Bond movie for reaction and review, of course. And uh, I think we should just start with it. Uh, you only live twice from 1967. So let's get it on and what we should see here. Um, of course, this is a Sean Connery movie. Actually, his last until the actor chains only to come back later this takes us to japanese and man these japanese scenes uh with sumo fighters um swords karate things they're all really like fascinating and uh um, of course there are these weird very 1960s kind of james bond things happening like <laughs> coming down on a slide to a weird office. Of course there is kissing. I mean, why wouldn't there be? It's James Bond movie after all. And this very iconic scene <laughs> where I guess you're supposed to think that James Bond is dead, hence the name of the movie and all. Um, I thought this actually being better, one of the better movies uh, in this James Bond series and definitely one of the best one by Sean Connery, my favorite uh, Sean, Bo uh, Sean Connery one, because um, I don't know, there is a good balance between action, pacing, and also different setting totally helps that stuff. But of course there are these really goofy moments, which then again are kind of a trademark of James Bond franchise um, in terms of action and agent. Um, themes in the world of James Bond and all. Fast cars, mandatory, uh, as much as shooting, kissing, uh, fist fights and all. Um, these are essential parts of James Bond ones and um, there's so many cool parts in the movie even though <laughs> some of these are kind of dated if you really think about it. Um, but given that this was the early days of James Bond um, it seems like a lot of things were like really improving since the first ones and um, you know the use of music different kind of action and of course the technology of time um, they're all there I mean this is like okay they're having rockets they're going to the space and all in the 60s the space race was very much on um, these are very much I guess um, the events of their time and giving the very very much impression like what was going on back in the days but in essence James Bond is of course an action movie with you know agent themes and all that stuff and as such this is indeed one of the better ones um, in a way it kind of looks like weird and outdated and all that stuff but if you really like ignore the facts that things have changed, technology has changed, and behavior has changed. This is a highly entertaining movie in so many ways, and uh, this trailer kind of reminds me why it is one of the better ones. Um, it doesn't, like, uh, spoil too much, but it definitely gives you a, a good idea of what's coming and what's happening and what to expect from this movie. So, while it's not my favorite James Bond movie, like I said, it's one of the best ones by Sean Connery anyway, and maybe in the franchise all over. Um, good mood film in a way. You just need a bag of uh, some snacks, maybe uh, some soft drink or beer, and you're good to go and uh, get yourself entertained. And now off you go, and uh, looking forward to hear what are your favorite James Bond movies. More to come, of course, now that I've finished the whole franchise and getting back to these with um, one reaction slash review video at a time. Looking forward to see your comments. Take care.